Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm going to continue my series on the uh, Bibleware pressure cooker, instant pot, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be trying to attempt to make creamy chicken noodles. Okay, I have uh, four cups of chicken broth here. Let's pour that in. I'm going to hold back just a little bit of it because I have another ingredient I want to add, but I want to make sure that I get as much out of that pan as possible. So, all right. Then I have a can of cream of chicken soup. Blop. Okay, see there's still a little bit in there, so I'm going to pour that chicken broth into there. Stir it around a little bit with a fork. Try to get it all out. I want all that goodness in there. All right. Pour that in there. All right. Oh yeah, that cleaned it out pretty good. All right. I'm going to use this uh, silicone whisk here. Whisk that together. Just to break it up a little. Quite a bit. <laughs> all right. All right. That looks good right there. Oh, right. Okay, next I'm going to be adding, and I'm going to leave the liquid in, is this can. It is a, a can of a white chicken in the water, 12.5 ounces. But I'm going to leave the, that in there just, again, for extra flavor. All right, if we give that a little stir. Okay. Then I will be adding, oh, roughly a quarter cup of carrots. So that's just for color. It's not for anything else. That's, I mean, basically, that's all it is. Then I'm going to be adding a can, a 6.5 ounce can of mushrooms, all except for that one. <laughs> that one escaped. All right. Okay. Give that a little stir. This is what I call lazy cooking. I'm not in the mood to actually cook. I'm going to add, oh, a sprinkling of parsley. Again, for color. Not, I actually don't find where uh, dried parsley adds any flavor, but it does add color. I have a half a bag of the medium egg noodles left. Wish me luck on that with that amount of liquid that small amount. All the recipes say you don't have to cover the noodles completely with that. So we're going to find out. Okay. All right, now let me situate everything and I will be setting the pot and I want y'all to see that as well. Back in a flash. Okay, now let's set the pot. I'm going to be pushing the menu button here. One, two, that's the soup button. Let's see what the time says on that. Way too much. All right, the recipes I saw all said, wish me luck on this, five to seven minutes. So you know what? I'm gonna go in between and do six. I'm going to push the start button. All right. Just this back. Oh, darn. I'm sorry, y'all. See if I can match my arrows again. You have to match them. I matched them. There's the sound. Then you twist it to the left. Yeah. Hopefully, I can get that valve in there this time. This is the valve that you want to turn completely to the right. That is set. All right. We are ready to go as soon as this... Uh, comes up to pressure and it's cooked and it's time to take the lid off we'll see this together we'll see if this is a uh, if it's a good thing or a fail how's that I'm, there's a terminology for it you know pass or fail how's that it's either a pass or a fail on the cook time that I chose 
Okay, y'all, it cooked. Uh, I um, released the pressure. Let's see this together. Oops, I thought it depressurized. Hang on a minute. Oh, all but just a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, now it dropped. Listen for the music. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Oh, my. Everything is cooked. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me, um, let me taste one of those noodles, because that's the truth right there. The noodles, a couple of the noodles. And there's an ingredient I left out, and I want it in there. I already know that, but I want to taste it as is, as I showed y'all. Mmm. Y'all. The noodles are good. I can tell you right now, it needs a little dash of pepper. It needs a little dash of salt. Alright, add a salt in that. Okay. I'll use my trusty little container here that my friend Amy gave me. There. Do a couple of pinches. There we go. And my other little ingredient I want is poultry seasoning, which has no salt. I want to, yeah. I want to jazz that up a little bit, y'all. Okay, and I think this will thicken up if I let it just sit for a few minutes. Uh, Dutch creamy chicken noodles. I'm, it's not a soup. This is what I wanted was creamy chicken and noodles. Now, the other thing that I think I would add to this, let me get a spoon and taste it. Now I've added the other ingredients and I'll tell you all the other thing I would add to it. That carrot off of there. Mm. All right, let me taste that gravy. Mm. Oh, that sauce. Oh, my God, yes. Okay, poultry seasoning is a must. The other thing I would do to this is, if I was, if I was to cook this again, the only reason I used the minimum ingredient, y'all, is I'm new to this, and I don't want to waste food. Uh, but now that I know how this is going to turn out, I'm going, the next time I do this, I would suggest adding like a half a cup of, uh, diced, small diced, uh, celery, uh, onion, and about a quarter cup of, uh, diced celery, uh, to it, plus the poultry seasoning, and the other thing to jazz it up is I'd probably put a cup of frozen peas and carrots in there, and i just stir it all together like I did, and I would cook it, and I would call that a done deal, it's already, uh, the noodles are already soaking up, uh, the sauce as I stand here and talk, so, if y'all are wanting creamy chicken noodles, not a soup, um, this is the way to go, in my personal opinion. And I'm glad I used the canned mushrooms as opposed to fresh, because that would be extra liquid. So y'all saw what I added to this, and I hope somebody learned something. I did. <laughs> First time I've ever done it. So, like I said, we're learning this together. Um, if y'all have ever made this or make something similar to it, uh, would y'all leave it in the comments what, what all y'all add to it or don't add to it? Uh, um, I'd like more suggestions, and I will tell you that I don't normally use cream of chicken soup, <coughs> excuse me, in recipes like this. If I was going to stove top cook this, cream of mushroom would have went in it because I don't know there's something about cream of chicken and myself that just is not, uh, I'm not a fan of, but this turned out excellent, y'all, so, um, again, if y'all ever made this, or another thing I'd like to know, have y'all ever done it, like, beef and noodles, I swear, y'all, if somebody has a good beef noodle recipe, please leave it in the comment, share it with me, if you have a video, leave the link, let me know that's what the link's for, I'm gonna serve this up, and I'll show y'all what it looks like once I've served it up. Okay, y'all, so there we have it. The creamy chicken and noodles. Oh, man. Oh, this smells so good. I'm going to give it another taste, hopefully. 
Mmm. Oh, y'all. This is delicious. This is truly, truly delicious. I mean, and it's, it was so easy. One can of this and a can of that and a box of that. Like, I'm fixing to enjoy this. I'll have a great day.